Hey everyone and welcome. So we are nearly one month into 9.0.5 and there has been a massive shakeup in the meta. If you thought melees would dominate all season, think again because Hogwarts is back in session and casters are here to stay. But those wizards aren't the only thing ruining everyone's life. There is also a new god tier spec gatekeeping the entire PvP ladder. And with the Warcraft devs team not responding to my tweets, they could be the final boss of Season 1. With that in mind, what comp do you think is the ultimate gatekeeper so far in Season 1? Is there a team you queue into and just cannot beat no matter how hard you try? As a resto druid, it is still Rogue Mage. They steal my hots and kidney shot my dreams faster than a backpedaling rep paladin pops wings in arena. Let us know in the comments below which comp is your biggest nightmare. But before we get into some of the biggest changes from this patch, we wanted to tell you about the amazing things happening over at skillcap.com slash wow. There you'll find class courses for all specs as well as detailed matchup breakdowns with commentary from the best players in the world. Our guides are designed to increase your rating and skill in arena and have years of proven results. If you want to take your gameplay to the next level, be sure to check out skillcap.com slash wow today. All right, so by far the biggest changes this patch happened to Venthyr Hunters, with Flayed Shot receiving buffs to its duration, focus cost, and increase to kill shot damage, this Covenant ability is borderline broken. VM Hunters before the patch had problems actually landing kills. Now that they have a ranged execute, their collection of infinity stones is basically complete and their offensive toolkit is stronger than ever. Another notable change happened with the desperately needed buff to the demon armor PvP talent. Destro Warlocks are still suffering the karma from their dominance in BFA, but as their representation plummeted at the start of Shadowlands due to the popularity of melee cleaves, the buff to this PvP talent was a small relief to their suffering. But even with this change, they are still struggling to break into the S tier for now, but that could very well change if we see nerfs to their biggest counters. So with these changes in mind, let's go straight into the S plus tier where we have Fire Mages and BM Hunters completely gatekeeping the competition. Without many significant nerfs so far this season, Fire Mages continue to be one of the most overpowered caster DPS. They come equipped with everything needed to be a dominant Shadowlands class having a reliable offensive CD, being able to survive on their own, and being one of the best specs at peeling for their partners. Fire Mages are the gods of dampening, and with games lasting longer and longer, it should come as no surprise that they are excelling in this new meta. The efficiency of cooldowns like Alter Time and their Triune Ward Barriers allow them to trade CDs better than most specs in the game. Their well-rounded toolkit gives them some of the most diverse comp options in the game as well, allowing them to play with S-tier casters like Shadow Priests and Ellie Shamans, or with S-tier melee like Warriors or Windwalker Monks. But Fire Mages now have a new god joining them in their tier and rounding out the s area, which are those BM Hunters who are completely dominating the ladder in both 2v2 and 3v3. Coming off buffs from the patch and a hotfix that made the PvP trinket set bonus work on pets, BM Hunters have reshaped both arena brackets. Their primary strength is that they just do some of the highest DPS in the game. With Shadowlands being so damage-centric, simply being able to do more damage than your opponents is a massive advantage. And now with Flayed Shot allowing you to do 10k kill shots, they have their own version of Condemn. Most of their success in 3v3 is with Jungle Cleave, which is called Cleave for a reason. Even if the Hunter misses every trap in the game, the damage from both the Hunter and the Feral on top of Druid off feeling is enough to win games on its own. Seriously, this comp is like Turbo Cleave with an instant cast Hex every 30 seconds. But jokes aside, with the exception of Rogue Mage, Jungle Cleave is beating every mage comp at the top level, including the wildly popular Ellie Mage and Shadow Priest Mage setups. One of its only rough matchups for now is Ret Warrior, which unfortunately gets gatekept by a lot of other things that Jungle Cleave counters. Outside of this, it is really only Shadow Priest Warrior that seems to give Jungle Cleave some issues, but that comp in particular is not nearly that popular. All right, moving down a step to our S tier, we have Shadow Priests and Ellie Shamans, who were both relatively unaffected by the patch. Shadow Priests seem to be performing really well with Fire Mages with the Shatter Play comp so far. This comp has a really reliable win condition with Psychic Horror and Silence, and performs really well into Warrior teams. Even without a Mage on their team, Shadow Priests can do really well with their Stun Silence setup, allowing them to carry games by themselves if left unchecked. 
The efficiency of their defensives, mostly Greater Fade, complements their well-rounded support toolkit, with Mass Dispel being an important tool against both mages and hunters. One of their core strengths right now is the effectiveness of mind games, with Enhancement Shamans, Rep Paladins, and Feral Druids all representing some of the most popular melee specs, the ability to shut down their off healing has huge value in this meta. And joining Shadow Priests as the only other S tier here, we have Elemental Shamans. Unlike Shadow Priests who have a bit of flexibility to play with both ranged and melee DPS, Ellie Shamans are stuck with Caster Cleaves for now. But this isn't necessarily a bad thing, given that Ellie Shaman Fire Mage is easy easily an S tier comp, but relying on Flame Shock for most of their damage requires them to have some additional coverage that only a wizard can provide. PvP talents like Purification and Cleanse the Weak are still incredibly punishing, despite the drop of popularity of both Disc Priests and Holy Paladins for now. With that in mind, Ellie Mage is doing really well right now into warrior teams and into other mages. The control from fire mages elevates shamans to a whole other level, with setups revolving around lightning, lasso, and combust to quickly score kills. Moving down to the A tier are Balanced Druids, Affliction Warlocks, and Frost Mage. Balanced Druids have moved down a spot from their S tier status earlier this expansion, and Frost Mages are moving up from B to A. Balanced Druids have moved down on our list for a few reasons. Although they weren't really hit by the patch, the meta is starting to favor longer games, and Balanced Druids are getting outclassed by Mages in most matchups. For the most part, Balance are just a budget Fire Mage, with lots of control and utility, but lacking in the late game longevity that Mages bring. On top of that, players are simply getting better and better against Balanced Druids, reacting more quickly to things like Incarnation and being really quick to stop Convoke. Affliction Warlocks have stayed A tier on our tier list throughout Shadowlands, and although Demon Armor was buffed in 9.0.5, it wasn't substantial enough to push them into our S tier. Despite this buff, they are still getting hard countered by many classes, especially Windwalker Monks, Warriors, and Rogues, who have enough mobility options to counter their portal and gateway. And with comps like Turbo Cleave and Rogue Mage still relatively popular, AF does have a few hard counters on the ladder, making them less viable for competitive play. And joining them in the A tier we have Frost Mages, who have moved up from the B tier at this point in the season. If Balanced Druid is a budget Fire Mage, then Frost is a deep discount. And while it's hard to avoid comparison between Frost and its Chad big brother, the fact remains that Frost just gets overshadowed by fire in the current meta. With that in mind, Frost does have a decent burst setup with Ice Form, which, by the way, was also buffed in the patch by having its global CD removed. But unlike fire, Frost has to sacrifice a lot to get a big burst setup by opting to play Lonely Winter for more damage. And giving up your pet Nova in a melee heavy meta is certainly not a good sacrifice overall, and forces Frost Mages to play mostly with other caster DPS in order to truly take advantage of its demanding burst setup. Next up, moving down the ladder are Destro Warlocks, who were previously unranked on our list, and MM Hunters, who have dropped down from the A tier. We covered Destro in our Sleeper OP Specs video, since early on into the expansion they were super slept on. Though they did benefit from the Demon Armor buff, as well as a minor buff to one of their main legendaries, they aren't able to carry games like the high tiers are. Holding them back is their inability to do damage while kiting. Unlike Affliction Warlock, where you can passively slow melee with corruption, Destro can't really do much on the run, which they have to do 80% of the time against melee cleaves. Their best comp is with a mage, but if you want to play mage lock, you better clear your entire schedule since every game will probably be a dampened game. And finally, we have MM Hunters, who took a huge fall from grace with the BM Hunter buffs. Marksmanship Hunters are simply outclassed by BM in every way possible. Their biggest weakness is how reliant they are on cooldown stacking for kills, where they pretty much need True Shot, Double Tap, and Resonating Arrow to do the job that Bestial Wrath can do in one mouse click. Get it? Because BM Hunters could literally click their spells and probably do better than MM. All right, I know what all of you are thinking. Where are those titans of the arena, Demo Warlocks and Arcane Mages? Well, unfortunately, there just isn't enough data to put them anywhere on this list. Both specs right now just seem really gimmicky, so unfortunately, no Arcane Dreams or Demo Realzine is enough to elevate these to competitive status. And there you have it. This is our ranged DPS tier list for the middle of Shadowlands Season 1. BM Hunters have joined Fire Mages as one of the best specs in the game, and Warlocks continue to be as squishy as Mushrooms. 
We want to keep you all up to date on any major meta changes. So next time there is a big patch, we will be here to give you the breakdown on any tier list shakeups. And if you liked this video, be sure to give it a like and let us know in the comments below which comp is your biggest gatekeeper. If you want to stay up to date on future videos, be sure to subscribe and turn all notifications on. That way you'll never miss an upload. Anyway, we'll see you soon.